Hi folks, welcome to A Visit, Perhaps, to Upper Canada Village Part 2. By this point, if you're following along, I imagine you're pretty much aware of why this two-part video has the term perhaps as part of its title. It all has to do with the tickets having expired the day before we got there. And so now, we're on a hunt to find other interesting things to do in this neck of the woods. We pulled into this Tim Hortons to use the Wi-Fi. Turns out, we got better Wi-Fi signal from the Pizza Hut across the road than we were getting from the Tim Hortons sitting right in front of us in the parking lot. Hey, what's this on the map? That's an interesting looking spot. A sunken shipwreck. Hmm, sounds like it's worth a visit. Also looks like a nice area to spend the day, too. And it's only a few minutes down the highway, also. Let's go explore and find out what the shipwreck is called, shall we? Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Kat. And, and we're, we're the, the Traveling, Traveling Wildberries. Wildberries. On the way down Highway 2 towards the shipwreck, we were distracted by an interesting looking spot off the highway to the left, so we decided to veer off to have a look. As it turns out, this little unscripted detour took us into this interesting little township called Cardinal. According to Wiki, Edwardsburg slash Cardinal is a township in the United Counties of Leeds and Grenville of Eastern Ontario, Canada. It was a small area, so we took a short drive around. We noticed this church at the top of the hill, which boasted a great view of the St. Lawrence. And then, as we were heading back towards the highway, we came across this interesting looking old truck. Not long after we got back on Highway 2, we veered off again just to check out an RV park in the area. We ended up uh, chatting with this fella from BC who said he used to live around here and then he moved to BC after he retired. Morning. Is this a paid lot? A paid thing. We came across Canada, but we wanted to go back to the United States. And then back to BC? Yeah. Okay, cool. We oh. figured it'd take us a week to 10 days to go back. Right. I think we're going to yeah. enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. This year, uh, we're going to go with them. We're going to come here for a week or so and then go down east. Maybe do more. He told us he stays at this park whenever he comes back into town to visit family and friends. We had a nice chat and then made our way back to the highway to continue on our journey to investigate the site where the ship is located. That's expensive. Yeah. Well, what did you say? 37. Yeah, that is expensive. Probably because it's the only spot around here. Yeah. Because it does have power and shower. Yeah. We arrived at the site around 9.15 a.m. And the name of the shipwreck is... The Weehawk. I included a link in the description below. The Weehawk was first in service in New York City from 1926 to 1956, carrying passengers and cars across the Hudson River. It was uh, first owned by the Electric Ferries Company and later by Westchester Ferries Corporation. In December 1956, the Weehawk, along with its sister ferry, the John J. Walsh, uh, were sold to the St. Lawrence Seaway Corp. Both ferries were then later auctioned off uh, by, by the St. Lawrence Seaway Corp to James Zygman of Ogdensburg, New York, who intended to scrap them. However, in 1961, the Weehawk was moved here, where it was scuttled and sunk, just west of filled-in lock 28. There is another wreck just up a little further east called the uh, Conestoga. We parked the rig and went for a nice long walk to investigate the area. What a beautiful park slash historical site.
We watched as a few more huge ships traveled down the St. Lawrence. I also tried my hand at building a couple of these huge inuxics. Boy, it was a chore to lug those huge rocks and position them on top of one another. But I managed. Hope you like them. We later had breakfast at the lot near the RV and hung out enjoying the rest of the afternoon lounging around and chatting. As we were relaxing, a couple pulled up and parked beside us. We watched as they got into their scuba gear. We said hello, and they told us they were going to dive on the wreck and said they wouldn't mind if we took a few pictures of their dive. They told us their plan was to dive on the Weehawk and then go around to the point and let the strong current take them down under the bridge to the other point where the Conestoga wreck is located, so they can dive on that as well. Apparently this is what many divers do when they dive in this area. Around 3 p.m. we decided to get back on the road and make our way home. Jess used the Gas Buddy app and directed us to a gas station in a small town where we uh, fueled up for much less than it would have been had we waited when to get into the city. And even though we didn't end up checking out the fall harvest at uh, Upper Canada Village, we still ended up having a very interesting couple of days along the St. Lawrence. Hope you enjoyed tagging along, and we look forward to sharing the next journey with you as well. See you soon, and remember, take care of yourself and each other.